beautiful day and we're headed out wheeling. Wish you were here. Radio check. Hey, where are you? I'm lost already. <laughs> there he goes. So we're headed south on uh, Highway 95. This is the same highway if you go the other direction that goes through Quartzsite and on up to Parker. If you go continue going this direction, uh, you'll end up in Yuma. still a two-week limit out here? I would imagine it is. If it's BLM land, then yes. Yes, sir? Just looking at the map. Huh? There was a fork coming up here. This is the beginning of the loop that goes south. Yeah, it hooks back on to 95. Yeah, down about, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 miles. Yeah. Starting in the Kaffa National Wildlife Refuge. Into it. I bet you're being tucked up in the hills a little bit here. They got less wind. But you never know. It could be they got more. Like there's a sight. It's ready for me. I should get my cones right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, you got the fire ring and everything ready to go. I only took the tires down to 20 PSI because today's about the smooth ride and maybe some sandy washes, not crawling. <sighs> nice little stop and the ride will be much smoother now. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. Good change. Maybe you could take the bus out here. I, I, you know, you could. I, 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 I wouldn't. I, I have I gone probably this far out in the bus before. <laughs> you got to take it really slow. And have everything tied down. and Everything in. tied down. And all the nuts tightened up, you know, because oh, you've yeah. got to get the new leaks, as I found out two years ago. I got the compass thing all switched around on my phone when I wasn't, I don't know, I must have sat figured it, but I always drive with north up, you know, north is always up, but uh, I flipped it around here to follow the direction I was going. I did it. It's my fault. I'm not lost anymore. We were worried. <laughs> the people driving the rental SUV yes. uh, slash RVs like the guy we yeah. passed. You know. They'll take those things anywhere. I've seen them in some just crazy places. You ever watch Matt's Towing? Oh, I love that. And there's always, every season, there's at least one, one. or two idiot uh, motorhome drivers. I was looking for a camping spot and I tried to turn around and now I'm in the ditch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. It's like, yeah, I'm just off the road. And he's like two miles off the road, you know. <laughs> okay, I don't think your insurance is going to cover this. You yeah. better slow down. You're going to bust the speed limit here. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me along. Yeah, this is great. Absolutely. <laughs> Just glad. It's fun to have somebody to enjoy it with, you know. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's a sea of choya and a few little cactuses thrown in. They look so cute and cuddly too. <laughs> and then you look down and find them stuck to your clothes or stuck to your shoes. Oh yeah, the little, the little. Uh, your pliers or your comb to pull them off and then they sit next to the road where you drop them and go mission accomplished. This is cool. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are. Ditto. That little meadow with the choya was amazing. I think the trail actually goes up to the right there, not where I came from. This is 
same wash. Yeah, that would have been fun. That would have been interesting. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't come out cleanly on the other end there. This is for wheeling. This is perfect. It is. It's, it's actually a really easy trail, but it's so beautiful. Get out! What is that? Oh, I thought he'd stop for the... But this is it, dead end! Sadly, this is the end of the road. Not really the road, but the authorization to go there. Somebody did a Karen on how to get up that hill. Looks like he's looking out to the west. I'm gonna do a sweep all the way around. Breathing heavy. And you'll see why in a second. Lunchtime. I gotta get back down and have some lunch. There's the Jeeps down there. And it looks like it goes up in this canyon here, but again, that's a dead end there. But the other one might not be. And then there's the rock. There we go. All right. Well, we just had lunch at our... What a spot! What we'll call most amazing. What we'll call what was the name of that? Weasel Point. Weasel Point. Okay. We'll call it Weasel Point. Yeah. This right here is where it goes that way, and they put bushes and stuff there. Yeah. Because at one time that went up there. Yeah, that was just a spectacular spot. It is. It is. Absolutely spectacular. The road to your left. That's how we came in. I'm, I've got a, uh, you know, track. Bread, bread track. Having the bread track's kind of nice. When it you is re nice. Retrace your path, you know. <laughs> it looks different from the other direction. It really does. Yeah. Then it was back out the wash that we originally came in on. We passed a couple having lunch in the back of their pickup truck and then across the Choya field of cactus. Finally, out into the wide open desert towards the next rock formation to the south, which is Castle Dome. We're going to be doing a little scenic drive, I won't say four wheeling, before rejoining Highway 95 and heading north back to Quartzsite. Uh oh, you're stopped. Doesn't look like it's stuck. Dude. Yeah, it's stopped. There I saw there. people on a side by side right there. Oh, there's a fork in the road here. I'm just looking. There's a sign to the left that says no Jeeps. So I guess I'm going straight. So I'm going to try to let these guys go because they're much faster than us. Absolutely. Did, did, did he tell you there's a sign over here that says no Jeeps? You could go up the wash. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna make a right and then go down a big beer. We're gonna let him. 
by. This is one big cactus. I'll start it like this. He's way up there. And here we go. I see right where we are. I'm not I'm not lost yet, so give me another half an hour. <laughs> I'd say that saguaro is maybe 20 foot tall. He was a big boy for sure. Somebody used to go up there. Yeah. They People said were they said no more. You can't do that. There's Castle Dome again. I can see why they call it a castle. It's, it's so far vertical. Yeah. Huge vertical sides. says straight. Straight it is. That's a pretty neat thing. My phone says 5G right here, not AT&T. I believe it's T-Mobile that they're using, but it's U.S. cellular. Yes. Hope you enjoyed this ride-along video as much as Andy, Craig, and I had doing it. Thanks for watching.